Chapter 9. Consciousness. Consciousness is never static or complete, but is an unending process of movement and unfoldment. David Bohm. Diversity in oneness is the mathematics of the infinite. Sri Aurobindo. Diversity in oneness. No more profound thought has ever been uttered. Consciousness is both one symphony and the individual unique artists that play different instruments and melodies. Imagine planet Earth like a sports game or MMORPG, massive multiplayer online role-playing game, being played by 8 billion fans. People in Lagos have a different perspective than Shanghai or London, unique angles on what's happening locally and globally. Think about it like calculus. We have an integration of 8 billion perspectives into one consciousness, plus a unique differentiation for each of us, individuating with our actualization of contributory gifts. Differentiation is realizing the 0.1% genetic difference between humans in gift actualization. Integration is embodying the 99.9% .9 genetic similarity between humans in the ocean of being. The Dress The one eye of the world that looks out from every creature. Arthur Schopenhauer We are the same subject in different timelines interacting with itself. Bernardo Kostrup in 2015, our planet experienced one of the most profound things that has ever happened to human civilization, and we just bypassed it like nothing. The deeper meaning of the dress is to get us to understand to not kill another person for seeing a different truth, to coexist peacefully. Practice right now switching between closing one of your eyes. Two perspectives, same observer. Have two painters ever seen the same landscape in the same way? We must create more examples like the dress where perception cannot flip-flop between the options like it can in the classical visual Necker Cube, Rubin Vase, Duck Rabbit, or auditory Yanni Laurel to drive home coexistence in seeing many true perspectives simultaneously. While in conversation, practice taking the view of the one consciousness looking at what is happening from multiple perspectives. Work your way up to residing in the view of holding all 8 billion perspectives simultaneously. Mirrors of being. The dress should have prompted a much longer societal contemplation into the nature of perception and reality. We need to recognize and learn from monumental discoveries like these. Identity. Your intellect is always a slave of your identity. Sadhguru. Wadat al-wujud, the unity of existence slash being. Sufi metaphysics. A clear indicator of spiritual awakening is the porosity of a human. Are you identified with just your body, trapped with a box around your head? Or do you realize that every one of your 20,000 daily inhales of O2 comes from the photosynthesis of phytoplankton and trees? Do you realize the water we drink today is the same water dinosaurs drank? When exactly does the bite of the apple become you? When you're chewing it? When it is being digested by your stomach? When it delivers energy to your cells? How porous are you to the ocean of existence we reside in?
Or are you heavily attached to your feelings of separation? This is a main upstream root of our maladies. Attachment to ego. Spiritual people frequently talk about expanding your consciousness, but forget to use these most scientific examples right under our noses which validate the unity of existence slash being. The more we understand our source and how Mother Earth sustains us, the less we'll be willing to destroy our home and the faster we'll execute sustainable, long-term growth architectures that are harmonious with nature. Porosity is scale invariant. Cells communicate via a porous lipid bilayer. Ecosystems share nutrients across underground mycorrhizae. Countries ship 90% of all world trade in barges across oceans. When humans evolve their consciousness towards transpersonal and non-dual states, porosity is a natural and gorgeous feeling of truth.